afternoon. It's about noon, and it is time for our Friday Facebook Live Lunch and Learn. And I am Dr. Polly Hyamili with Abundant Health and Wellness. And I can see that we've got sound, so that's a good thing. <laughs> we've got sound. We don't always have sound, so that's a good thing. Okay, so. We're in my office. It's a live office. You're going to hear people on the phone. You're going to hear people walk in, so that's okay, because it is a live working audience, okay? So, what are we going to talk about today? You guys, I wish you would send me questions, because it's just like I'm just deciding what to talk about, but that's okay. Um, we have been having a lot of questions. Uh, there's been a lot of things on social media, some... Um, you know, fake health news. So I kind of just want to yep. revisit some things with you and then talk to you about some things that are fake and some things that are not fake. I want to give you some testimonials and that kind of thing. Maybe we'll just start with that first. Okay, so we went to a seminar on enzymes. So I don't know if you remember that I told you I was going to do that. I had to run out a few weeks ago and go to a seminar. And this was all about enzymes. Now, I have always used enzymes, but I've used enzymes with food. And so this seminar was not necessarily about using enzymes with food, but using enzymes as a catalyst for metabolic processes. So what that means is your amino acids, I'm going to take you back to your fourth grade health lessons, okay? Your, uh, your proteins that you eat turn into, or they contain amino acids. The amino acids in your body turn into enzymes. Your DNA knows what kind of enzymes you need for your DNA to work properly, right? So if you're not taking in enough amino acids, then you're not going to be making enough enzymes so that your body does what it needs to do. So this is what happens when we get older, and this is part of the aging thing. And so they had a lot of different products that had enzymes in them, but they did other things. So one of the products that we have is this little product right here, and it's called Privita. Now, I brought this into the clinic, and it's full of enzymes. It's got hormones in it, but it also has a proprietary enzyme blend of lipase, protease, and bromelain. Now, this is for estrogen positive receptor cells. So if you have breast cancer or you have any other kind of cancer that is estrogen positive, then we want you to take this. So we brought it in and, and we have one particular patient that does have that and she took it and uh, she, it has DIM in it, D-I-M. And that is the uh, blocker that blocks that estrogen receptor site, right? So we have some other good dim products, but they made her sick and they made her have a rash and joint pain, that kind of thing. So we gave her this. We thought this might be good. Well, let me tell you what this also does because it's got all these hormones in it. It also, as our gentleman friends are getting older and they're having those age-related malfunctions, right? This actually boosts their testosterone because it also, for them, blocks the estrogen pathway. And in an older man, the testosterone gets turned into wimpy dihydrate testosterone because of the estrogen receptor cells. So this is an aromatase inhibitor, and what that means is it blocks the estrogen. So this is good for women that have estrogen positive receptor issues, but it's also good for men of a certain age that are having functional issues. So this is a good thing. This is another product. It's called Calmzyme, right? And it has all kinds of enzymes in it, but it also has uh, valerian root, hops, skullcap, and wild lettuce. Now, all of these are nervines, and so um, we gave this to a patient yesterday, and she was just very, very traumatized. Life has not been good to her, very anxious, uh, just having a lot of gastrointestinal distress, some heart issues, just some, some, some really bad things, all because of anxiety. So we gave her this. I think we told her to take, what did we tell her, two at meals and three at bedtime? Is that what we told her? I think that's what we told her. Anyway, it was a big dose. She called in today and said she has never 
felt better and that the anxiety and the way she felt yesterday was totally gone. So we just thank God for that. You know, nobody needs to go through life in a very anxious state. And we all have situations that make us anxious. So um, I don't know why uh, I see people are on, but I don't know who you are. But thank you for being on. And Trish, if you could kind of get that. We know Ronaldo's on. Um, uh, Elva. Elva. Yay! Okay, good deal. Anybody? Uh, there's four people on. Nope. Okay. On my screen it says, okay. Okay, so some of the other things that uh, people want to ask about or people have asked me about, they asked me, uh, oh, hi, Raquel. Thank you. Um, some of the people have asked me about is the ketogenic diet. Now, Ketogenic diet can be really confusing because there is the ketogenic diet, there is ketoacidosis. I think Jerry just popped up. Mm -hmm. Precious, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for sharing, Precious. That's my that's my big boy, Vicky. Vicky. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, okay, so ketones. Ketoacidosis and ketosis. It all sounds the same, but it's not the same. So, ketosis is what happens when you put your uh, body in a different metabolic state. So, what that just in easy, easy uh, terms, you're going to cut out most of your carbs, your big carbs like your potatoes, your pasta, your bread, and that kind of thing and you're going to eat more fat and you're gonna eat more protein. So what does that do? That puts your body in a state of ketosis where your body is not burning sugar for glucose, your body is actually burning your fats for glucose. So what does that do? That puts your body in a fat burning machine so you will lose weight. And that's what everybody wants to do. Now, ketoacidosis is something that happens with to a diabetic, right? If you're not a diabetic, you don't have to worry about that. And then ketones, right? Ketones, there are supplements called ketones that people want to buy, that people want to ingest. Some of them are made with salts and some of them are made with esters. Now, an ester is a chemical normally a fat soluble chemical that's synthetic we do not recommend that at all most of the people that have used ketone therapy that i know have felt very sick so i don't really recommend it hey jenny um i see that you're sending me a question but it's coming in a different way so i'll try and get to that in a minute so with the ketones, and this is something that can happen. As I said, people don't really feel good when they take these synthetic ketones. So um, you can have an electrolyte imbalance. Electrolytes are the trace minerals in the lymphatic fluid that cause your chemical reactions to take place. You can have a heat stroke when your um, ketone, uh, your electrolytes are out of balance. So I just want to read something to you here. It says a psychological reasoning behind electrolytes becoming depleted in a state of ketosis is due to the lack of water retention and frequent urination when supplementing with exogenous ketones. So exogenous means to come outside of the body, from outside to in. We want the endogenesis. This is your own body producing the ketones because of what you are eating. Hi, Daniel. Thank you so much. Um, so we don't want to have that exogenous uh, ketones. So an acute state of ketosis will likely increase the frequency of urination and it messes up your electrolytes. So we don't want to do that. I think the, the uh, metabolic uh, function is a little bit different when you're doing your endoketones, okay? So if you just reduce or restrict your, your, your simple carbohydrates, so that would be your pasta, your bread, your cereal, your high glycemic vegetables, and you're not gonna have that carbohydrate that turns to sugar, 
right? Remember, sugar feeds cancer, so we don't want to do that. A ketogenic diet, on the other hand, is a fat burning, right? Protein burning, and so it doesn't have sugar so you're not feeding cancer. In fact, my friend Dr. Tony Jimenez, who is a medical doctor who specializes in holistic cancer treatment, says that the ketogenic diet is the best anti-cancer diet to have. So I am very pro-ketogenic diet. I'm very anti-supplemental ketones. So I hope that's not too confusing. Was that confusing? Were you no. confused? Okay. Hey, Janet, my cousin Janet is on. Hey, Janet, hey, girl, good to see you or hear you. We have a question. Okay. Thank you, Raquel. Raquel talks about autoimmune disease. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about autoimmune disease. What is it? Um, autoimmune disease is when your body gets confused, all right? Your blood, you've got, uh, your blood is your first uh, circulatory uh, system, right? Your second circulatory system. Hey, Debbie. Uh, thank you so much for that comment. Uh, your second circulatory system is your lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is part of your immune system. Your lymphatic system is the vacuum cleaner of the body. Hey, Jenny. Um, so, when you have an autoimmune disease, what happens is that your immune system starts fighting itself. Your immune system gets confused. It cannot tell the difference between self and other. So, for example, this is me. My body needs to know that this is me. This is not me, okay? So when my body gets confused, instead of my white blood cells and my lymphatic system going after this, it goes after this. With women, a lot of times it is in their thyroid, right? It can be rheumatoid arthritis, it can be lupus, it can be MS, it can be chronic fatigue syndrome, it can be uh, fibromyalgia. It can have all kind of different names. But what we're wanting to know is that we've got to take the confusion out of the immune system. So how do we do that? We do that with a supplemental protocol called RCCP. RCCP stands for Restoring Cellular Communication Pathways, right? So it is a seven product protocol and it is mainly a rebuilding because when your body is attacking itself, remember it's confused. So you have to get it unconfused. So what confuses it? Like I said, something in the body that should not be in the body. So we've got chemicals, we've got heavy metals, we've got germs, we've got viruses, and we also have, um, um, what else do we have? Parasites, yes, parasites. So all of that goes into the body and the body just doesn't know what to do, so it just gets all kind of spazzed out and starts attacking your cells. So, we don't want that to happen. So what we have to do is raise the vibrational rate of your systems so that your immune system can tell what is self and what is not. So let me back up a little bit because that was probably a little bit confusing there, okay? So your immune system, your whole body has a vibratory frequency. Healthy people will vibrate between 75 and 85 hertz, okay? Sick people vibrate under 70 hertz. So you have an autoimmune disease, you're going to vibrate under 70 hertz. So when we are looking at, uh, you come in, you have an evaluation, if we go through all the different systems and we find out what your vibratory frequency is, we're going to see that the frequency is very, very low, which is why your immune system is confused because it doesn't have enough juice to make the right kind of decisions and to make the right kind of interpretation of what is self and what is not. So the RCCP has seven products in it. It's got an enzyme for your digestion. It's got your good probiotics that actually survive 
the gut, it survives digestion, so it gets down in the bowel where it needs to. It's got your minerals, your trace minerals, your macro and your micro minerals so that your electrolytes stay the way they need to be. It's got gut-associated lymphoid tissue, which rebuilds your small intestine, which rebuilds your immune system, and it also rebuilds your neurotransmitters. So five of those seven products rebuild the body. Then we've got natural body clear, which is a cellular detox that goes in, and it just gets rid of uh, chemicals, bacteria, candida, parasites, and all that kind of stuff. And then we also have nat colon clear, which also heavy metals, chemicals, uh, parasites, and all that kind of stuff. So five rebuild, two uh, take away, detoxify, and cleanse. So if you have, Raquel, if you have an autoimmune disease, I don't even want to see you because you've just kind of been, uh, it'll be wasting your money. But I do want you to start on the RCCP. The RCCP, the box, will last you, three of those components will last you about 90 days. The other four components will need to be replaced after 30 days. Anybody with autoimmune disease or cancer needs to do this protocol at least uh, 90 days. Some people need to be, hey, Kim, Kim and Kim, both of my Kims are on. Good to see you guys. Um, so uh, this, this protocol, we have seen autoimmune disease, we've seen Crohn's disease reverse in 90 days. We've seen diabetes reverse in 90 days. We've seen um, cancer reversed, not in 90 days. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer than that. But that would be the first thing that I would suggest with autoimmune disease. A lot of times a doctor will tell you, you have an autoimmune disease, you cannot get well. Let me give you that translation. That means, as a medical doctor, I do not have a drug that I can give you that will reverse your condition. So we know the master physician, right? And the Bible tells us that he has already given us all things that pertain to life and godliness and that every plant bearing seed is good for us for our health. So when you treat the body with natural substances and all of these things that I'm talking to you about today are plant based substances, right? Most of them, uh, all the ones we've talked about today, the RCCP and these two digestive enzymes that I've talked about, they um, are, are hand crafted. That means they don't go through machines. They're not heat treated. Okay, so the enzyme action and the life giving force is not depleted through manufacturing. So a lot of times when you're buying something, especially you're getting it at the big box store, it's going to be very inexpensive and um, it's going to be denatured. That means it's been harvested with machines, it's been cooked, it's been fried, it's been heat treated, and so it's killed all of the life-giving force in there, so we don't want those. So, Raquel, we, get, we have the RCCP here in our office, so um, we can uh, mail it to you, or you can come by and get it, whatever is convenient for you. And um, I'm pr I appreciate you wanting to know about this because this is really good. Is yes. For her daughter. Is it's for her her daughter. Age limit? Uh, no. Uh, okay. So uh, how old? How how old is your daughter? Um, we would have to readjust the dosage if it's somebody like under ten. But if it's a grown up, somebody that weighs over a hundred pounds, we don't have to adjust the dosage. But that's a, that's a really good question. So thank you so much. Um, okay. So we talked about that. We talked about that. How much time do I have? I have about five minutes. She's 18. She's 18. Oh, yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine doing that. So uh, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. You will be very, very impressed. We had uh, a lady, I've been trying to get her to get on the RCCP. I'll just tell you, anybody over 50 needs to do RCCP at least for 30 days. And uh, I think it's kind of like the fountain of youth. And so I've been doing it now for several years, and I always feel really good when I take it. Uh, but anyway, one of my friends has, I've been trying to get her to take it. Uh, she's in her early 50s, and she just, you know, kind of not listened to me. And uh, finally, she did listen. And just one of the things within, uh, I think she started taking it, and within two weeks, she felt amazingly better. And this, this girl eats right. She exercises right, 
Okay, there's just all kinds of things that she does right. But within a month after she started taking the RCCP, she lost almost 20 pounds in about four weeks. And she didn't change her diet. She didn't change her exercise. She was doing really, really well on that. So you can have some unintended, unintended consequences that are really, really good when your body lines up and you start vibrating at that frequency that you're supposed to vibrate at. Remember, God is uh, sound, right? He creates with sound. God said, let it be, and it was, right? And Jesus said, I was the light of the world. Those are energy um, forces. So when we look at us, we're made in God's image, then we have an energy frequency. If we raise that vibratory level, then we feel better and we function better. Now, one of the things, and I hadn't planned on talking about this. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Daniel says, since our CCP has probiotics, do you continue to take the other probiotics also? No. Um, in fact, that's a good question, Daniel. Thank you. When you're doing the RCCP, I don't want you to take any other supplements. Um, if you're on any kind of medications, I want you to take the medications, but I want you to take your medications 45 minutes separate from your RCCP. But that's a great, great question. Thank you. The RCCP is uh, it's synergistic. That means all seven components work together. They're the same brand. The master doctor that developed them, she is a... Uh, a certified licensed doctor in traditional Chinese medicine. Okay, so it's very, very good, easy to take. You feel really, really good with that. The other thing I want to just kind of tag on because we're running out of time a little bit, but I want to talk about essential oil therapy because when you do essential oil therapy, you are raising your vibratory rate. So we want your vibratory rate to come up. I'm getting another question. Oh, Carrie Ann's on. Thank you so much. Okay, and Anita is on. Anita says, I need an appointment. Okay, call. Call. Bless you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Um, oh, thank you, Raquel. That's such a sweet comment. Um, essential oils. Okay, so yesterday we had an older lady come in, and I know I have to quit saying that because I'm getting older too, but this lady was uh, in her late 70s. So that's a little bit older, right? That's a little bit, I know, right? I'm having a big birthday this year. Um, so anyway, she was not vibrating very well at all. She was only vibrating at like a 60, a 65 maybe. So we know that when you're vibrating low, we've got some issues. And so I got her to do a breathing treatment. I did an assessment, and I was able to get her to do a breathing treatment. And the breathing treatment only lasted for five minutes, right? And she did this essential oil therapy. And she just, it's just breathing. Just put it on your hand, just breathing it, right? And within an hour, no, within 30 minutes, her vibratory frequencies went from about 65 up to 81. 82.5 is perfect. Could you use the right? oils in an bre actual breathing machine? You cannot use the oils in a breathing machine. That's a good question. The question in our office is, can you use the oils in a breathing machine? Um, if you're putting something to your face, I would say no. If you're using an atomizer or a diffuser, okay. then yes, you can. Uh, my little grandchildren, they've got a vaporizer, a vaporizer. Yes, you can put it in a vaporizer, but you don't want to put it in the apparatus that you put right on your face. Okay, so that's a very good question. Thank you. We just had her put the oil on her finger and her thumb, and as she breathed in, she would hold her uh, fingers to her nose as she breathed out. You know, so we do this little action in, out, in, and she also out. Used the fraction of no, it's no, because it already has the oil in it. So this this particular blend that we have is already diluted. You're already good. Anyway, in, out, in, out for five minutes. Within thirty minutes of doing that, her, all of her vibratory frequencies came up much higher. So this is a tip for you. You want to get good, good essential oils here at the clinic. We do bear oils. You can uh, order them from my website. You can get them here at the office, but if you buy them at the office, you have to pay retail. But if you go on my website and you order them online, then you get them wholesale. They're a lot cheaper that way. And also, we do essential oil classes on the first Tuesday of the month. 
So, it's about 12.30 now. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for joining me and thank you for the questions and thank you for the encouragement. You guys have a great, great weekend and I will see you soon. Take care.